Hello everyone, welcome to a special chem strike on the map Warhog. And it's kind of special because it was actually on Team Tech and I was playing solo. And when I say solo, I mean that I actually started playing solo and then I met some people along the way in a couple of games and then we decided to party up. But solo means that there was basically no team organization in this game per se. So, anyways, let's get talking to the gun that I'm using. I'm talking, I'm using the MTAR, as you can see, and I started using the SMG, and it's working pretty fine. It's working pretty, pretty good for me, as you can see. And my class setup is obviously no secondary, lethal, or tactical. Um, dead silence, off the grid, scavenger, amplify, and focus. And we'll talk about that later, but for my specialist, um, kill streaks, I have stalker, marathon, slide of hand, and my bonus, I have quick draw, um, ICU, the thing, ready up, and, uh, ping. So, yeah, and um, as you can see, I picked up an SGSS, no wait, SC2010, which is actually, which worked out pretty fine, because I actually did a lot of work with it, because this is actually like, one of the first times I've used this gun, and I really, really like it. It actually drops people, and it's actually very accurate with, like, not that much kick on it, so I might use that in the future later. But enough of that. Anyway, the subject of this video is my own tips on how to get chem strikes. So, um, everybody knows that, or not everybody, but most of them, and it's kind of my opinion too, but that Call of Duty Ghost is a little bit harder than like any other Call of Duty game. I don't know, this is my own personal opinion, and a lot of people seem to think that too, too, so, because you just get melted and stuff like that, and people just camp, and the guns are kind of overpowered at times, and it's just ridiculous. So, which makes it getting chem strikes even harder than getting, you know, mobs or even nukes. Nukes were the easiest of the three since you can just get seven kill streaks with the Harrier. And what do you know? You got a nuke. More or less 50% of the time, you know, unless you kill yourself with a chopper gun or been or done that. But anyway, let's talk about stuff you need for your chem strikes. The first thing and most important thing is your gun. You need to pick a gun that you are very efficient with and not very. Um, like, you can control, because you know, a lot of guns, like the ARX, have a lot of kick, and it just seems like they do have a lot of kick, and some people are able to work with the kick, and that makes them, like, a really good player with that gun. So basically, find a gun that you, you know, that, that you can use and that matches your play style. So, obviously, if you have a SMG, you're not going to camp. So, and that's why I was using the MTAR, I was rushing the enemy team because I wasn't planning on getting a chem strike I was just planning on winning <laughs> so yeah so use a gun you know if you're gonna snipe you're not gonna be rushing obviously so um my own personal opinion for secondaries and lethal and tacticals is to use none of them and sometimes I regret it but I just rather use more perks I feel like they help me more than a, a grenade or a tactical especially like Especially like concussion grenades or anything, I never use them. Like when I first started playing, I had them, but I never ever used them. So I would go out and die, and I'm like, okay, I just wasted a life without, you know, using a grenade or a concussion or even my secondary. So I started stopped using all that and just added three more perks or three more, you know, points for a perk, which is basically one three point perk, whatever. So from this point on, I just never used it. And this kid who just stops in the middle of the road, I don't understand. It was so funny how he just stopped there. Sorry. Um, what else? So, yeah, basically, next thing is perks. Perks have, perks are basically very, very important. Um, a perk that I would always recommend on your first lot is Hardline, since total you only need 24 kills to get a, you know, a chem strike instead of 25. And in this game, I wasn't using... Uh, hardline because I was just going try hard, you know, trying to run a gun with the MTAR. So I have to get 25 kills, which actually kind of sucks because the game almost ended since we were just playing kill confirmed. Um, so, but there's also some perks that I would also recommend you have somewhere, not exactly in your first, you know, main perks. Um, I'm the type of guy that doesn't like to be heard. I don't like people knowing where I am. That just like pisses me off. I, I hate dying from behind, if you know what I mean. Like, I hate not having a say in whether I die or not. So in that case, that's why I use a silencer, and I use main perks, 
with like off the grid and dead silence. So basically I'm a ninja, kind of. Yeah, let me be a ninja. So I try to be a ninja, try to be deadly, just not try to let people know where I am. Cause I just hate it when they know where I am. Cause you just die so easily. Okay, anyway. Um, another perk that I would recommend, which also depends on your play style, is focus. In this game, for me, it seems that guns kick way more, way more than other Call of Duties and actually have worse effects on you. Before using focus, I, I remember I would shoot a guy first, but since he, if he got lucky and shot me, then my gun would like all, aim all the way to the moon and I would just die. So I was like, okay, what the fuck? And I didn't use it at first because in other Call of Duties, I remember shooting a guy first and if I get recoiled, then the gun would automatically shoot up to his head and just headshot him, which was really fucking hilarious. And uh, so I, 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 that's why I never used it. <laughs> and eventually you want to get scavenger in there somewhere just to, you know, get more ammo. Because you won't always have, um, you know, ammo in your gun when you're just running around killing people. And the thing I would recommend getting used to is just picking guns up. Always, if you have a secondary, just change your secondary for a, a regular gun, which is, which, you know, naturally, common sense, it would be more powerful than a pistol. There's been situations where that's not the case. I get dropped with three bullets from a pistol on my leg. So, <laughs> yeah, not fun. So that's basically it. And another very important thing, the last important thing, is accuracy. You need to be accurate. You can't just spray every single guy you see hoping to get, you know, a kill, or less even a chem strike, so you just need to get a good accuracy. So that's basically it for today. And one last tip, leave your highest, if you can, leave your highest, like, point perks at the very end for your specialist bonus, since they don't discriminate as much. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment, leave a like, and I'll see you guys on my next chem strike.